And I'm back. <laughs> Part two. Here we go. Now, this thing is ready to drink. I'll pour what's left in that can. This is a beautiful mug. I mean, look how it holds uh, that 16 ounces. I just love this mug. But anyway, I digress. Oh, <laughs> uh, Crabtree Brewing Company, Eclipse Black India Pale Ale, 7.7%, 7 71.4 IBUs. Now, one of my, uh, uh, you know, beer friends, somebody that I respect greatly, uh, Mr. John Starodumsky, um, pointed out that in the 90s they were referred to as India Dark Ale, because how can something be pale and black? Well, that makes perfect sense, doesn't it? Uh, <laughs> it probably should be called a Dark Ale instead of a Black IPA. However, pale net doesn't refer to the color of the beer. It referred, when you talked about a, a pale ale or even an India pale ale, uh, traditionally anyway, it didn't refer to the color of the beer. It referred to the malts used, because many pale ales uh, do have a darker hue. That's kind of a kind of one of those misnomers. So you get your, You get a pale ale and then sometimes they're, you know, they're, they're, they're this kind of light amberish, or, or I've even had some that are, you know, even, uh, I'm kind of colorblind, so, but, uh, but it, some of them have, have these bigger, richer, deeper colors, so, uh, I mean, the pale's kind of a misnomer, but he does make a good point that this would probably make more sense called an India dark ale than, a, you know, a black pale ale, but, but, anyway, but again, you know, the, the word pale in that description didn't refer to the color of the beer. It referred to the malts used. Mm. Ah. I'll tell you something, though. Uh, I mentioned John Starodumsky. Uh, he's, he's one of the guys that I talk to who, uh, well, he's, he's one of the more knowledgeable folks out there. It seems like everybody's an expert on the Internet, right? <laughs> Yeah, uh -huh. and, and there's guys like me that are just uh, just passionate and enthusiastic, but he's a guy who really does know his stuff, and he does a blog out there under the name uh, Brew Guru. So, uh, I mean, if, if you are uh, somebody who has a true passion for, for craft beers, uh, you really need to look up his, his work because he's he's got great reviews on, on many beers out there. So look up John Starodumsky uh, as a, a brew guru out there. So anyway, uh, there you go. Mm. I tell you, I mentioned in the first video, holy crap, that's good. Um that this is, uh, uh, I, I don't put things in order, I didn't put them in order, one, two, three, but uh, of the category, this is in the top three, and, and the other two in that category for me are the Stone Sublimely Self-Righteous and the R.J. Rocker's Black Pearl. Uh, I've tried to, quite a few in this category, and those, those three stand you know, just way above the rest. Uh, there are so many I've tried I've been disappointed by. Uh, but that one, uh, th these three are certainly worth whatever you need to pay for them. They are good. Uh, and, and this one happens to run uh, 10 dollars a four-pack. Not exactly cheap, uh, but it's not crazy expensive either when you figure that uh, many uh, bombers will will range. It, well, I mean, uh, for instance, I talked about the man, uh, the Black Hatter, which I wasn't crazy about. That ran me just about five a bomber. Well, think about that for a second. I paid 11 for this. That means two of these cans is 32 ounces, uh, and that's 550. Uh, you know, that's value for me. Uh, and this is big, just big and whopping. Uh, the flavors of this, I mean, I, I hate to repeat myself, but I'm going to say it again. It's like a, a tidal wave of hops just washing over your palate, and it, it just keeps growing on you and growing on you. Thinking, holy crap! It was good the first the first drink, but it just keeps getting better and better and better. It's just freaking wow good. I need to tell you though that Crabtree Brewing Company um, had the the their oatmeal stout earlier, and the this is their Eclipse. Um, the, those are the first two beers I've had from this brewery, so I'm not familiar with them. So um, having these made me real eager to try anything else from them because these are just the oatmeal stout was uh, crazy good, and this is just phenomenal because I do like the dark roasted malts with those completely wacko over the top, <laughs> <laughs> overwhelming hops. <laughs> Anyways, 
<laughs> hey, this is Tom, the Beer Whisperer, and I'm going to get out of here. But this is a fantastic beer, Crabtree Eclipse Black India Pale Ale. It is wonderful. you got to go.